Hello again today. It is Tuesday, and uh, recently my children have been uh, caught up in this video game, this virtual kingdom building video game, I guess you would call it, called Minecraft. Uh, I don't know much about it, but uh, my son told me uh, you build the kingdom to your liking. You put in it what you want, and, and, and I think when you're doing this, you can really see what the desires of the person's heart is. is to, to say where their focus is, is w it'll be reflected in their kingdom. And, and people spend a lot of time doing this, sitting around building their own kingdom to their own liking. Uh, and it reminded me of another uh, kingdom-developing virtual world kind of thing that we used to do. Uh, not we, but people maybe still do it, Farmville. Uh, on Facebook, uh, you, you, I, I'm not, again, too familiar with this, but I do know that uh, I guess you were a farmer and you tried to build your farm and and you, you uh, and people would frantically, and this is funny, frantically ask their friends for this or for that so they could help help their dying pig or, or whatever. And then they would post accomplishments on their Facebook page. Look at what I did. You know, and it was all about seeking the praise for um, growing your kingdom the way that you want it and, and better, you know. And it's like you've got achievements and you could post them on your wall. And it's like, yeah, 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 I'm awesome at this kingdom developing stuff, even though it's a virtual kingdom on a computer about a farm. Can you see where I'm going with this? So, uh, how much time was spent by these people doing Farmville, and how much time is spent by people um, on Minecraft or other games that are just developing a virtual kingdom that's not real, you can't grasp, you can't touch, and, and they still uh, get excited about it, and they, they want to receive praise for it, and it's all virtual, it means nothing. Now listen to this, listen to Matthew chapter 6, and I'm going to kind of touch on just a few verses in here. Matthew chapter 6. First, it says, do not store uh, for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy. And I think, well, man, this is kind of like a virtual world. Th these things don't matter. These things are going to be gone. These things are going to be destroyed. But yet we're still trying to store up treasures here. Uh, and he says, but store up for yourself treasures in heaven. And see, that's where things do matter. Store for yourselves uh, treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart will also be. See, that's just like in your virtual world. You can tell where a person's heart is just by looking at their virtual world that they've created for themselves. And so everyone is going to be different, but there's all going to be about what I like and what I want, and it's going to make me happy. Well, unfortunately, with the kingdom that we are supposed to be helping establish here on earth, the kingdom of heaven, here today... Uh, isn't about our likings and our wants, but about his liking and his wants. And even though we get to participate in it, we don't get the glory for the achievements that we help uh, in growing this kingdom. We don't get post to our wall, look, I did this, I did that. We should be giving him the glory for the growth of his kingdom. But see, people don't want that. People want their glory. They want their rewards, their kingdom growing recognition on their wall. Uh, and, and that's not what it's about. We're supposed to be seeking his kingdom and his righteousness first. And it's all about him. Well, let me go down to um, verse 32 in chapter 6. It says, For pagans run after these things, and your heavenly fathers knows what you need. And that's talking about clothes and food and drink, and it's all these things that we think we need. But we know we need these things, but pagans chase after them. But verse 33, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. See, don't be worried about building this virtual kingdom uh, to your liking be part of building the spiritual actual real kingdom of heaven on earth right now and do it to his liking and for his glory seeking his righteousness not yours and you can post accomplishments to your wall but only to give him the glory and to get other people excited about growing his kingdom we get so excited and we want people to be part of growing our kingdom that we forget we're supposed to be growing his kingdom Seek first his kingdom, not your kingdom in Minecraft, not your little farm in Farmville. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Be a kingdom grower starting today. God bless.